Good morning, everyone. Um, this slide doesn't count. Just, <laughs> just for disclosure. <laughs> I have no disclosures. <laughs> um, all right. How do I address this? Okay. Uh, so I uh, retired, and I thought I'll give a, an update on retirement, hoping that uh, now that I retired, Richard and the group don't put me out to pasture. Um, and this will uh, tie in a little bit with the, all the great talks yesterday about uh, global neurosurgery and uh, ability to volunteer. And I was uh, delighted to hear that uh, you actually can um, help or participate at uh, levels that are not necessarily purely neurosurgical technical. Uh, so my wife Joni and I went to Kenya last uh, July. Um, we got uh, to Kenya on the second week, second week of July. And uh, the trip was organized by uh, uh, Darla Colohan, who and her husband were here until this morning. They had to leave. And um, she belongs to a group called Africa Mission Services. And they uh, provide uh, a mission doesn't have any religious connotation, but they do uh, medical work, uh, uh, building roads and clinics, and uh, uh, health care. Uh, so uh, she's been talking about us uh, about this for a while, so we decided to go. She organized a group of 16, four of whom are uh, children ages 9 to 13, so 12 adults. Um, so we went there, and of course you'd, you'd think we, we did uh, uh, nice uh, safaris. Uh, we saw more animals than we uh, imagined possible. Uh, these are all photos, except for taken by my iPhone, except for this one. Uh, that looks like Art Wolf work, but it wasn't. It's one of our, my colleague there, and uh, that, that lion there. Everything else I took with my iPhone 10. Um, we, uh, if you notice in that, sorry, in that corner, that's a baby, baby, tiny hippopotamus. And um, it's, they tell us, about six days old. So that was exciting to see. So what the, uh, and, and we happen, I don't have a, a, a slide of that, we happen to be during the, the animal migrations, the great migration which happened between mid-July to mid-August, where hundreds of thousands, actually in a season, up to a million and a half of, of animals cross the Mara River from Tanzania to, uh, to Kenya. And it is a sight that is absolutely unbelievable. It changes your life. I've never experienced anything like it. You see hundreds and hundreds of wildebeest and zebras and uh, Thompson gazelles just sliding down high cliffs, ending in water, crossing it to go to the other side at the risk of being eaten by crocodile, and we saw that. So we, saw, we did three major uh, things during this uh, visit. We visited uh, villages, and uh, uh, these are all Maasai people. Uh, in Kenya, everybody speaks Swahili, but uh, each tribe has different uh, language, so they speak Maasai. They are still polygamous. They, it's a very interesting culture. Uh, they're, they're hunters. They don't grow their own vegetables. So when you go to the markets, these are neighboring villages that bring these, uh, these uh, markets. They all have their, we call it their security blankets. They wear it, and they're very colorful and beautiful. Uh, the second thing we did is we visited the schools that are being run by this mission. And uh, uh, these are, uh, uh, kindergarten students, and you see the discrepancy of age, this little tiny one, bigger one. They have a system in Kenya, you don't just automatically graduate from one grade to another. The, the, the teacher has to pass you. And so you have people of different ages in, diff in the same grade, which is interesting. This is middle, middle school. They're all very, very uh, polite and uh, well-behaved. Uh, this is the, the very first, and it's not been completed, high school for girls, and it's boarding. So they keep them there because otherwise the fa their family will first get them circumcised and get them married. And so that is very successful. They're very curious. Uh, they loved my wife's blonde hair, and they just couldn't, 
couldn't understand it, so they had to touch it. And I was shaking hands with some of them, and one of them came to me, looked at my hand, and then went and got all his friends to shake my hands. They were very intrigued by my sunspots. So <laughs> any, anyway, um, we also uh, went and uh, did uh, three bush clinics, and it happened that uh, the other participant was a, a neurosurgeon. This is Tom Scully, who uh, is here, Rick, Rick Chua. And then uh, this is Joan Fa, uh, uh, Joan Lay, and uh, she is a PM&R uh, pediatric specialist from UC San Diego. Her husband Fa is, uh, is a, an ER doctor. So they were qualified, we were not, to take care of uh, old comers to their clinics. So these, these people uh, come in and we realize, you know, they're just like uh, Rick said, uh, we're MD first and we're able to take care, on the average, 100 patients a day and it was really very, very pleasant experience. We saw things we can't handle and so forth. And then finally, the third thing we did is we brought with us, uh, uh, actually, uh, Joan and her husband arranged for that, uh, this water uh, purification system. You can buy this uh, Sawyer portable system for about $25. And uh, we, uh, they took them in their suitcases there. You can buy a five gallon uh, bucket put a little hole that is appropriate for this tube size, and you run the water they drink, which is this color, this color, through that filter, and you get this water. 99% of the impurities are removed, and uh, uh, several people told us this is the first time in our life we had clear water to drink. So it's very impressive. I thought this is the best thing we did over there. Anyway, it was enjoyable, it was life-changing, I'm planning to go back. Thank you very much. <laughs>